Hey, welcome back everyone. GARP has officially released the learning objectives or the curriculum for the year 2023. And now we're going to be looking at the changes that has happened from 2022 to the next year that is 2023. So let's just go ahead and let's just try to understand what has been the changes in, in both the parts that is part one and part two. All right. And just for your information, I've I've already attached these PDF for your reference in the description box below. And also you can find this to download in my Telegram channel. Now, before we go ahead, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That, that really helps us in some way or the other, right? This is our website. This is our email ID. And this is the WhatsApp number. You can reach out to us for any guidance related to FRM part one or part two. Okay, talking about book number one, Foundations of Risk Management, nothing has changed in this book for the year 2023 curriculum. But the point that needs to be noted before we even talk about all the books is that in total, 2022 had 60 readings in total, right? And in the 2023 curriculum for the next year, there are 62 readings or chapters in total. That means two readings have been added. Now, where that has been added, we'll, we'll find that. But just for now, uh, sticking to book number one, there has been no change in 2022 versus the 2023 curriculum. Okay, everything remains the same. All the learning objectives remains the same. Talking about quantitative analysis, there you go. We've got the two new chapters that has been added. And here, we have the chapter number 14 and 15, which is machine learning methods and machine learning and predictions. So in the curriculum for the next year, that is 2023. And there has also been some update to a chapter number seven, which is linear regression and regression with multiple explanatory variables. Also, the one learning objective, a new learning objective has been added in all these three chapters so that's the macro level changes in the quantitative analysis if you want to find the learning objective wise changes i've also uh, created a separate pdf for that and as i said you can find the link in uh, uh, all the download links in the description box or in my telegram channel okay moving on to book number three which is financial markets and products so nothing much has changed in the 2023 curriculum for the fmp which is book number three. Absolutely the weightage, everything remains the same. How about book number four? Well, there has been just one update and that is in chapter number 16, which is the Greeks. And they've just updated one learning objective. That's it for the FRM part one. That has been the update from the 2022 to the next year, which is 20. 23. And as I said, for your reference, you can go ahead and you can download this file. How about the learning objective wise changes? If I go through that, just a minute. All right. So learning objective wise, as you can see, I've on this side, on the left hand side, I've got the 2022 and on the right hand side, I've got the 2023. And you can compare the learning objectives. And this one is something that has been added in this particular chapter so on and so forth you can find for the other chapters also and uh, this machine learning method which is added in the quants in 2023 is these are the the latest learning objectives that that has been assigned in the curriculum and you can also go through these things as well all right so you can download this and you can view it on your own now talking about part Two, what has been the changes for FRM part two? And let me tell you, there has been some major updates in FRM part two. All right, starting up with the very first thing is the total number or the count of chapters. Well, there were 99 readings or chapters in 2022. But now for the next year curriculum in 2023, there's going to be 96 readings or chapters so three readings has been removed but let's see the major changes that has happened in this particular book so starting up with book number one which is the market 
risk, uh, the same weightage, 20% is the weightage for that. Two updates, one learning objective has been removed from the first chapter and, and from the third one, the third chapter, one learning objective has been updated. And as I said, you can find this file also in the description box below for the learning objective wise changes that you can actually see for yourself. All right, how about the second book, which is credit risk measurement, same weightage 20% for 2023. And um, these are the, the changes. As you can see, one new learning objective has been added in this particular chapter, chapter 10, chapter 11, CVA, uh, chapter number 13, one learning objective has been removed and two new learning objective has been added. And as you can see in the last chapter, securitization, the three new learning objectives has been added. So decent update in this book number two. And uh, let's talk about the major update that, that we actually see is in book number three, which is the operational risk and resiliency. Now, let me tell you, there has been some quite a major change in this and the current issues book. All right. So as you can notice, all the reds are something that has been removed and all the greens is something that you see here. They are the new learning objectives or new chapter that has been added in the curriculum and all the and all this yellow is something that has that has it, it's it's an update. That's what these colors uh, they they signify. All right. So as you can see, there is a lot of green or a lot of new chapters that has been added in book number three, which is operational risk. And major chapters has been taken away from the 2022 curriculum, as you can see here. So earlier there were 27 chapters in total. Now there's going to be 24 chapters for 2023. So three chapters that has been taken away from this particular book. But as you can see, there is a lot, lot of material that you will not see in 2023. So if you're using the 2022 book for your 2023 preparation, you might, you may consider waiting for the new release of these learning objectives. And then you need to start, I, I, I think. And whatever, uh, there is no changes onto all these things is something that you can, you know, see it out here. So you can use pretty much something that has not changed for your prep for 2023. That's the major change in the FRM part two, and that is the operational risk and resiliency. All right. How about the next book, which is book number four. And as you can see, 19 chapters in total, no change at all in book number four. The weightage remains the same 15% weightage in this book. How about the fifth book, the last and the final book that we have and book number five, risk in uh, risk management and investment management, 15% is the weight for that. And uh, no change in this, but there has been some considerable change in book number five, which is current issues and financial markets. And, and that's the beauty of GAR because the update their curriculum almost every year so that we stay relevant and updated in the financial risk management industry. All right. For talking about book number five, all these chapters are gone. The LIBOR transaction beyond LIBOR, COVID-19 and cyber risk, all that has been taken away from 2022. And uh, uh, more chapters has been actually dedicated to the uh, climate related financial risk. So the inflation, the blockchain and the future monetary system. So all the greens, as I said, they are newly added to the curriculum. Now let's just go to the learning objective wise changes as well. I've also have it here learning objective wise. So you can go ahead, you can refer this thing. Uh, so for example, in the market risk, this learning objective has been removed no longer in 2023. You can also go for all the things that you see for this thing. And as I said, these are the, for book number three, these are the new reading that has been assigned for 2023. And uh, these are the learning objectives for that. I will also drop a link of the official learning objectives from the GARP website in the comments or in the description. Go ahead, download the official learning objectives from the GARP website as well for your 
reference. So that's it, guys. And if you're using the 2022 curriculum for 2023 for part one, that would be fairly okay. I would say that except for quants, there are two new, re new readings that has been assigned and the overall changes are very, very less in, in part one, right? But talking about the part two, you might want to start with this book number five, which is risk management and investment management, or perhaps the liquidity is something that you want to start, or maybe, you know, uh, uh, the, this particular, the market risk is something that you want to start also. All right. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions, any guidance that you need for FRM part one exam, you can reach out to us on our email or on our official WhatsApp number.